Hey there and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm showing you how to create a satellite element with the help of JetTrix plugin. If you want to learn more about this plugin, check out the link in the description down below. As you see, you can create various types of the satellite element. You can use either an image, an icon or some text. You have a wide range of customization options, which I'm going to show you right now. I'm heading over to Elementor Editor, where I have prepared my typical heading with no effects yet. And to apply this satellite element, what I need to do is to click on this widget to go to Advanced, scroll down and find Jet Tricks. Here in the menu, I see three possible options and I need to choose Satellite. Toggle this to Yes, and I will see the settings for my satellite. You see here you can choose the type of your satellite element. It can be either text, icon or an image. The settings for all three of them work pretty much the same way. So in this video I'm going to focus on the text element only. Let's type in the text that we want to see in our element. Let it be satellite. The position will be top center. You can play around with the Y offset and the X offset to achieve the result that you want to see. Let's leave it right at the center and move it a little up. You can rotate your satellite element if you wish. And the Z index says uh, what the position this satellite element is going to take according to the other elements, whether it's going to be on top of the other elements or it's going to be behind them. So I'm going to go with this option and it's going to be a little behind my actual heading. And let's see the styles for the satellite element. The color. Here you have just your regular topography settings that you usually got with other text elements. And what I want to do is to actually make it a little bit more transparent. And you can also apply the shadow and the CSS filters like blur, brightness, contrast and saturation. So for now I'm going to hit update and see my satellite element on the front end. And here I go. Here is the satellite element that I have just applied. As I've already mentioned, you can also use an icon and an image for your satellite elements, like you saw in these examples. You get all the same settings and you can choose the position for the satellite element, the offset and apply different effects for this element. If you want to learn more about the possibilities of JetTrix plugin, check out other videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave your thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.